Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create stunning 3D photo slides using a camera. Even if you are a beginner, don't worry, I will explain each step systematically. Before diving into the timeline, let's view the preview. Before we get started, let me tell you that these are the images we will be using for this project. First, create a new composition by clicking on New Composition and give it a name according to your interest. Keep the resolution to full. And in the 3D render, select Cinema 4D. By default, it will be set to Classic 3D. So make sure you select Cinema 4D. Now, let's adjust the screen size to fit it properly. Right-click your mouse button, select Solid, and name it BG, which is our background. Next, click on the composition icon, and name it Photo 1. This composition will be used to insert the photos. Now drag and drop any images from the project panel. Resize its scale. Select this layer and hits for the scale. Then resize it. Now I do not want these sharp edges. I want all these four corners to be in a curved shape. For which we need to create a shape layer. Just deselect the layers if you have selected any layers. Now double click on this icon. If you can't see the track mat, just click on this toggle switch. Then you be able to see the track mat here. Then select this image layer and in track mate select the shape layer. Now go to the shape layer properties. Click on rectangle 1. Then in this select the rectangle path 1. You can see here it has a sharp shape. Here roundness I will make it to 100%. Now you can see here our corners are in a curve now. You can change it according to your choice but I will keep it to 100%. Now go to 3D slide composition. Here drag and drop this photo 1 composition above our background. Let us resize its scale size to 45%. Now it is looking very simple. Let us give the 3D depth for this photo composition. Select this photo composition, and go to the Layer tool. Here select the Auto Trace. Here let be at default. Do not do anything. In case, apply to a new layer is selected. Then it creates a separate layer, you can see here it has created a separate layer. However, I want this to apply to this photo 1 composition layer. I will undo this. I will deselect this apply to this new layer in this auto trace. You see here that. It has traces of our photo composition. You can check this at these edges. For your clear visible. Let us off this BG. It is visible now. Now click on this arrow mark, and go to mask. Click the right button on your mouse, and then select the shape layer. Now open the content then click on this icon. Here, select the path one. Now, first, make sure to deselect the layers. 
only select this shape layer. Then click on this pen tool. Then click somewhere here. After that, you can see a new shape has been created. Let us off this background so that you come to know. Before processing further, let us turn it into 3D by clicking on this 3D icon. Hit this for scale and then resize it to our photo composition size. Let us check the photo composition scale size by hitting this key on your keyboard. It's 45% let us set it to 45%. Hit P now let us change the Z axis to 0.1%. You might be thinking where it has moved. It is a behind the photo composition. Let me show by hiding this view. Here we will select the two view. In this, select the top view. This will be in an active camera, you need to change it to a top view. This is our active camera layer and this is our top view layer. Whatever we do the changes in this top view you can check it in an active camera layer, which is our left side layer. In an active camera, you are viewing the front camera like a screen of the television. Already it is a lengthy video so I do not want to waste your time on more briefs on this. Whatever we need to do the changes, we have to do it in top view. This gives us a clear picture of all our compositions. Now open the shape properties. Go to Geometry Options. Increase the extrusion depth of your choice. You can see the depth of our shape in this top view. Well, I will keep it to 80%. You might be thinking that we can do it directly for photo composition but unfortunately, we do not have that option here. You can see here in these geometry properties we do not have the extrusion depth, but in this shape layer, you will find it, so you need to follow those steps. Let us close this now. As of I am changing this view to one view, later we need the top view but before that, we need to work a little more on this composition. Now create the null layer. Let me show the extrusion depth we have created. In the front view it is not visible let me show it from another angle. Let me show its side angle with the help of orbit around the cursor tool. You can see here the extrusion depth of our photo composition. I am undo this. Select all these three layers by holding the shift key in your button. Then duplicate this by pressing the controlled key on the keyboard. I will rename this as a null 2. I will link these layers with the null layer so it will be easy to make any changes instead of applying them to the composition. I recommend always using the null layers for your compositions. Turn this null layer into 3D. Hit P and change the position towards the left hand side. In addition, another to the right hand side. Select both the null layers and hit the R for rotation. For the first null, the x-axis will be set to minus 35%. The first thing is to set the second null to plus 35%. It seems that the size of the photo composition is large, so we need to select the photo layers and hits for scale. Then, we need to resize both photo layers to 40%. Let us see how it looks by changing its rotation to minus 45%. It looks weird, so we will undo it. 
the 3D effect is not visible here, so let us hide it for a while. This happened because we changed the scale size of the photo layers, but there is nothing to worry about. We need to change its size layer. We can check its scale size, it is 40%, so we will make it 40%. Now it is perfect. If you want to change the color of this shape, just open the shape properties and go to content. In the shape, open the fill, and here you can change the color with the help of a pen tool. You can select any color from the photo and change it to some other color. It looks good so I will go with this color. For this also you can follow the same process. I am forwarding this part. It is done. Now select all these layers except our background. Then duplicate it by hitting the Ctrl D, now drag them downward just above the background. Now again duplicate these layers. I have duplicated it for 6 layers. Arrange it in a chronological order. I will rename the null layers. Now it's time to switch it to the 2 view. And here we'll change it to the top view. Select the null 1 and 2. Then press the up arrow key on your keyboard to move backwards or to move far from the camera. The placement changes of our layers you can see it in the top view. Now select the 3rd and 4th null layers. By pressing the down arrow keys, I will move it out of the frame. In an active camera, you can view the layers, are in the frame, or out of the frame. Now it is completely out of the frame. If you see it in the top view, it is here far from our frame. Do the same for other null layers as well. I am forwarding this part, because I don't want to waste your time, by showing the same procedure. Later we can adjust it accordingly to our needs. Now right click on our mouse and select the camera. In this, I will unlock this layer. Preset you can change it as per your need. In a simple way to say that, preset is nothing it changes the comp size. Now create the null layer. I will give the name for this as a camera control. Turn it into 3D. Camera, I will parent link this with the camera control layer. If you change its position, all compositions move, because the effect applies to all which are turned into 3D. Let us bring all our layers into a frame by changing the Z-axis position. You can see, how far they are from each pair of compositions. No worries, we will adjust it in our next step.
I will give the animation from our last composition. Let us make this into two views. This will make it easier to know the position of the composition. You can see here, our composition are far too far from the camera. Let us bring them close. Select those nulls, whichever you want to bring them to close. This is fine. Let us give the animation for this camera control layer. At the starting frame, I will set it to 0%. Again, around the 18th or on the 19th second, I will give the keyframe. At this point, I will bring all compositions into the frame. Make it two view. If any changes you need, then this will be helpful. You come to know, how far it is from our camera. Select another pair of null layers and press the up arrow to bring our layer closer to the camera. Use the up and down arrow keys to change their position. Fine. Now by changing the Z-axis position bring them into the frame. Select any one of the photo layers and search the VC reflect effect, then apply it to this photo composition. This effect you can download from the site, just type the VC reflect. You find the video copilot site from there you can download it. Or go to the video copilot site search for VC reflect in the search section and you will find the plugin. Once you download it, restart your After Effects software. Let us come back to our topic now. Once you apply the VC reflect effect to the photo composition you can see the reflection of it. Make some adjustments in the VC reflect panel. Suppose the reflection is not visible. Then make some changes in the floor position until you see the floor position point. Here it is, just bring it upward by changing its position. You can check out it by making some adjustments here. This I not looking good to me so I will go with the 0%. Now we'll apply this effect to all photo compositions. Copy this effect by pressing Ctrl A, and Ctrl C, and paste it to all other photo compositions, except the one from which we have copied. Now you can see, it is applied to all the compositions. Let's do one more thing here. Hit P and change its Z-axis position. Here I will add the text. Click on this text icon and enter the text. Let me recenter it using the Align tool.
If Align is not here go to Window, in this select the Align tab. Double click on this text to select the whole text. Make some changes by changing its font color, size, and tracking. These all are basic things so no need to explain it again. I'm forwarding this part. To convert this text into a 3D, click on this 3D icon. The text has moved away from the frame after converting it into 3D. To find out it, just use the two view and here select the top. If you see in the top view, our text is here. If you in confused just select the text layer, it shows the toggle path of your selected item. To bring it onto the screen, hold the shift and press the up arrow key until it comes into the screen. I will pre-compose it. And convert it into 3D. Again, it is off from the screen. Follow the same process to bring it onto the screen. Let us see the preview once. Seems this second pair of photo compositions appears delayed. So let's make it to arrive a little bit earlier. Select the null layer 3rd and 4th and use the arrow keys to move it. This is fine now. Now again, 3rd pair of compositions is arriving delayed. So let's move its composition, a little bit closer to the screen. Hit U, to see the keyframes. I will zoom it slightly. If you want to add some text here you can add it. Before going further, I want to add the shadow effect for this text layer. Double click on this text then here search for the shadow effect. Shadow effect we can't see on this black screen so let's add the white shape layer by double clicking on this shape icon. Swap it down. Search for drop shadow and apply for the text. Make some adjustments in the drop shadow effect. This looks fine. Do not forget to off the shape layer from the text composition. Instead of creating a new text, I will duplicate this text so that we do not need to follow the whole procedure as we did for this text. Duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D. Double click on this composition. Then enter the text. And align it properly. Now go to 3D slide composition. From the project panel drag and drop the over here. Let's hide this view. Double click on this text, here, off this shape layer. I will change its placement towards the top.
Yet, this text is not in 3D, click on this 3D icon. Now you can see our text has moved away from the camera. Let's bring it closer to the camera. Select the text layer, and then by holding the shift key bring it to a closer by using the down arrow key. It seems the after animation of the text, our photos coming soon onto the screen. I want them to animate for a few seconds delay. Select all the null layers and text as layers as well. And hit the down arrow key, this time don't hold the shift key. This looks good. Now it's time to replace the images as well as the photo compositions. Go to the project, and duplicate the photo compositions up to 6 times. Because I have the 6 images I will duplicate it 6 times. Double click on this photo 2 composition, select the image layer, and then by holding the alt hey place your new image here. If you do not hold the alt key then it will not replace it. Therefore, you need to hold the alt key. Now go to 3D slide composition, select the photo layer by which you want to replace it. By holding the Alt key, I will replace it with this photo 2 composition. Do the same for all the photo compositions. Once you have done with the replacement of photo composition, then replace all the images as I have shown earlier. I am forwarding this part. Once you have done with this part, check out the preview. I want this text opacity to become zero while ending our animation. Select the text layer, then hit the T for opacity, then give the keyframe here. Move a few frames forward, then make it to 0%. You can do this here or for the text layer, nothing will be a problem. If you want to give the 3D depth you can increase it for the shape layer in the extrusion depth. Also if you want to change the color of this 3D depth go to the shape. Open the content then shape one. Here in this fill you change the color of your choice. With the help of this pen tool, you can pick up any color. 
Do the same for all suppose if you want to change the color. Finally, all done now. Let us check the preview now. Looks good. This is just a simple one. You can create more stunning by using these skills. I hope this tutorial helps you a lot in creating more stunning videos. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, have a nice day.